guys today we're going to be comparing three different guitars all of them are right around twelve thirteen hundred dollars um, up first we have a Gibson Les Paul Tribute tobacco burst it's a 2022 model it's got the uh, these have the maple neck which actually has a slight flame to it which is kind of nice loosen style Gibson tuners this one has the uh, Graph Tech nut. Um, Gibson pickups. I believe they're the same ones that come in the studios. Um, no push poles or nothing. This is basically like a, a stripped down standard. Um, plays really good. Three way. Five. Eight. <laughs> no complaints about this guitar it's uh, currently tuned in a half step down it's got a uh, 44 to 9.5s on it which I was trying that new Ernie ball set it feels great on in that tuning on this guitar There's, I could really find no flaws in how it plays or sounds so I mean it's if you want that Les Paul style look sound feel for about 1200 bucks, I think they're 13 now. When I got it, they were running around 12, I believe. Um, there's that one. Switching over. Boom. Next $1,200 guitar is a Fender Boxer Stratocaster. Now, th these are kind of a limited run that came out about two years ago. I believe this is a 2020 model. Um, very heavy for a Strat. This has the Boxer Series high output humbuckers in it. It's got the uh, the tone knob is actually uh, has a mid boost on it. Five is actually the regular 10 for a tone, but you have an extra little bit of a mid boost right here. Splittable. This is a uh, split switch, three-way with the split, so you still have a, pretty much the same as you would if it were a five-way. Um, this is the Sherwood Green finish. Um, I want to say they only made 53 of this color and then 53 of the silver one. I could be wrong, but some something around there. Um, it's got the black painted headstock, which looks awesome it's got godo tuners um it has this this actually has the uh 12 inch radius and jumbo frets on it it's supposed to be more of a shredding style boxer like that's about why they came out back in the uh, 80s was to compete with the uh, super strat market so this is like a fender super strat maple neck um that's how it sounds Here's with the tone at the five. This is also tuned in a whole step down. tone to get rolled up all the way. Your splits. 
This last guitar is a, a Warmoth build. I've done a few videos with this uh, on the channel so far, but let's just kind of go over again. This is a Warmoth build I did in maybe 2016, 17, so I can't really remember exactly when. Swamp Ash body, JB, two SDS1 DiMarzios, slanted back, uh, one volume, five way selector. Rosewood fretboard, 22 jumbo frets, maple neck, 12 to 16 compound radius fretboard, uh, Irvana compensated nut, Godo tuners, and obviously it's in the uh, style of Jakey e. Lee. This is a Jakey e. Lee build I did. I had around eleven to twelve hundred dollars in this total after the build. Fender American hardtail bridge too. The uh, other Fender has a uh, Goto. Uh, tremolo on it, which I have it screwed all the way in, so I don't really use the trim on that. And then, of course, the Gibson has the Tone Pros uh, system. But uh, yeah, this one for the same amount of money, I will go ahead and say, if you're going to do warm off, you kind of have to know just a little bit about putting guitars together, building guitars, um, because they send it in pieces. You have to drill out the pick guard holes. You have to. Uh, install all the electronics or get a you know a guitar tech that I did it all myself um, You know fit the neck on there right put the tuners in uh, Do all that so just a reminder if you're doing all that if you don't have a little bit of knowledge on how to assemble a guitar You might have a little bit more money involved paying a uh, guitar tech to do that but there's plenty of YouTube videos and tutorials on how to do all this stuff if you don't know that's you know I, I at one point I didn't know and I had to learn so um, yeah here's how this one sounds <laughs> Um, now for the final words, which would I suggest out of these three for around, like I said, between 11 and 1300 bucks? If you don't know much about assembling a guitar, I wouldn't pick this one. Um, unless you want to pay somebody, but without that being said, I would probably pick this one because it's customizable. This was custom built, custom made. Uh, so I'd probably pick this one if that wasn't a factor. So between the Gibson and the other Fender, there was also the Fender, you know, they only made a hundred and like six of these all together and only like 50 some of each color so it's rare the volume knob does get in the way of my picking so I would probably out of these two I would probably pick the Les Paul but they're all three great guitars um, like I said I don't think you can get much better than these three if you paid ten thousand dollars for a guitar I think you're buying this and if it's set up properly is it'll play and sound just as good as a Les Paul standard um, same thing with this Fender if it's set up you know right it's gonna play just as good as a Fender American Deluxe which is 18 to 2500 how much that is or a custom shop even and then this 
plays and sounds just as good as the Charvel USA Jakey Lee model that's $2,800. It's just all about setups and, uh, you know, the components are all here for, you're not really going to get much better specs that's on these guitars for that price range. So, I mean, it's for any price range. I mean, what are you going to get better with a uh, Godot uh, hardware and American pickups and the same woods? I mean, and they're both made, this is made in Japan and the other two are both USA made. So, I mean, I couldn't recommend either one of them enough. Like I said, if you're more into shredding and 80s rock and this is probably the most versatile of the three, is this one. I'd go with this one then. If you want that more vintage classic rock but can still do metal and everything, here's your guy. If you want something customizable, maybe you're a big Jake fan and is also kind of versatile, this could be your option if you know how to do the setups and know how to put this thing together. So uh, I was playing through the Yamaha, that was my, that's my buddies today, the Yamaha THR X10, which sounds great. Um, leave in the comments which would you pick out of these three, and uh, get a poll going in our comments, vote on which one you'd, you'd want to have, and uh, maybe we'll do another shootout with uh, my Kiesels or some of my Jacksons or... Sectors or something with whichever one out of here wins. Thank you.